All right then, so now we have authentication enabled in Firebase, we can start to use it inside this application. Now, one of the first things we need to be able to do inside this app is to keep track of a user's authentication status. Are they logged in or are they logged out? Because we want to show different content dependent on that status sometimes. So it would be good if we could sync a user's authentication status from Firebase to our state on our Redux store. So that if at any point we want to check the user's authentication status, we can access that information from our state. Now we've already seen how we can sync our Firestore to our state using the Firestore reducer right here. That's what that does. Now we can do a similar thing to sync our authentication status to our store state as well. So as well as a Firestore reducer, we can add a Firebase reducer to do the authentication syncing for us. So let's do that. First of all, we need to import the Firebase reducer and it's from a different package. It's from React Redux Firebase. So let's import that first of all, import the Firebase reducer like so. And that's gonna be from React Redux Firebase. Okay, so now we need to add that reducer inside here. So let's add it onto a property called Firebase. You can call it what you like. I'm calling it Firebase since this is what it's syncing, Firebase information, including authentication. So that is gonna be the Firebase reducer that does that. So that Firebase reducer right there will sync our auth status on Firebase with our Redux app in the state and pop it on this Firebase object on the state. So now Redux is set up so that it will detect whenever we sign in or whenever we sign out of the auth service in Firebase and it's gonna update this state accordingly. So let's try accessing the authentication status in a component. What we'll do is do that in the navbar component. So go to layout and then navbar because eventually we're gonna conditionally show only one of these set of links dependent on the user's authentication status, right? So it makes sense to try and access that auth status inside this component. So first of all, we need to connect to the Redux state. Now, we don't need to use Firestore Connect in this one as well because we're not connecting to Firestore anymore. We just want to access this property, the Firebase property, on our state to see whether a user is logged in or not. This is doing the rest of the stuff behind the scenes. So we don't need Firestore Connect. We just need to connect to our Redux state. So let's import connect. And this is from react hyphen redux. Okay, so now down here, we need to use connect. So let's use it like so and surround navbar. And then what we want to do is map the state to our props so that we can access some kind of auth status inside our props. So let's create that function const map state to props. And this is a function which takes in the state and inside the function, we return an object and that object is gonna be representative of the things we want to attach to the props. Now, before we do any of that, let's just console.log the state like so. Okay, so in here, what I'm gonna do is pass the map state to props function and then save it. Now then, we should be logging this to the state on every page because the navbar is on every page. However, connect with three ends is not defined. So let's change that to two ends. Okay, so let's view this in the console over here and let's open this up and go to console. I can see an error and that error we will come to shortly. That's to do with keys. Okay, but if we take a look at this object, the props, now we can see we have this Firebase thing right here. Firebase property and on that we have an auth property as well and inside you can see is empty true is loaded true now is empty means that we don't have a profile right there's no profile loaded into this and that's because we're not logged in does that make sense so if we're not logged in then we're going to get this right here so let's have a look at the next video exactly how we can log in to the application
But before we do that, I just want to address this little error that we're getting right here. And it says that each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key property over here and to check the render method of project list. So let's go and check that out. I've opened up project list over here and we can see at the minute where we're rendering each one of these things, we're cycling through them. Currently, the key is attached to this thing right here, the project summary, but that is no longer the parent element. The parent element is now this link and the key always has to be associated with the parent element. So we need to cut that and paste it on here like so and that should make the error disappear so let's save it view this again and now that is better okay cool so now in the next video what we'll do is look at how we can log in to the application